People don't end themselves because they want to. We may think we want to, but we don't. We want to end the pain. We don't want to end ourselves. We want to end the pain. We want to end whatever is driving us towards it. It's usually when we're feeling hopeless. When we think we just can't can't go on because the psychological or physical pain we're experiencing is either too much or it's gone on too long. Or both. It can be psychological or physical or spiritual pain that doesn't seem to ever end or improve in any way to a point where it's tolerable enough to get through. I hope we can stop criminalizing suicide. Not to promote suicide, but to understand why we do it. It's not natural to kill ourselves any more than it is to commit murder. Again, people who want to kill other people for whatever reason may justify and say something like, well, they deserved it. And even in cases where of the death penalty, capital punishment, oh, well, they deserved it. They should pay for what they've done, or I just don't want them alive. I just don't, I don't want them around. It's understandable if we personally don't want an individual to exist. But examine why you don't want this person to exist. It's something you're dealing with. It's something inside yourself, not the other person. If you want society and or yourself to feel safe, them going to jail and being quarantined so that they don't hurt anyone and hurt anyone else or hurt hurt anyone again is appropriate. Humane but restrictive environments for uh, people who commit crimes is appropriate, not death. You may feel a temporary initial rush and relief when they're executed, but search your feelings. Does it really make things any better? There, there are plenty of other murderers on this planet, and it won't bring back the person they murdered, and it won't reverse the crime. It won't make the crime not have happened. And the same thing for suicide. If we kill ourselves, we can't come back if we succeed. And if we fail, we might be in worse shape than before. And we might still be dealing with the pain that drove us towards it. It's really relief that we seek and when we don't feel like it's possible, when we don't feel like there's any relief possible, we think the best choice is to end it, and we think the best way to end it is to kill ourselves. I can't give you guys any relief or comfort, only that analysis. I'm at a time in my life right now where I, f I feel that way, but rest assured, I believe that suicide and murder is even more unnatural than people think that gayness is, being gay is. Being gay is a sexual orientation, and we have a right to that. People think being gay isn't natural. Yes, it's a new idea, and it's un an unknown, and it doesn't may not feel as natural to many people as heterosexuality does, but I think a sexual orientation is more natural than killing another person or killing ourselves. I hope we can make a world or change a world where it's not so painful to be here.